So one of the features that GeoGebra has built in is the ability to make graphs of functions similar to what we might do on a graphing calculator. And it's very simple just to graph a function. We can just go down into the input bar and I can type, you can do y equals, but I prefer to use function notation. I'm going to do f of x equals and I'm just going to plot a particular quadratic. So I'm going to do 2x squared using the, the caret symbol for the power minus 3x plus 1 and I get the graph. So I hit enter. We, in the algebra view we have the formula and over in the graphic view we have the graph. It's labeled at F as well. I think I'm going to hide the label. Oh, not the object, but the label. Um, like anything in GeoGebra you can right click on it and look at object properties and change style if you'd rather see a dotted line or you could change the color. thickness and so you can pick whatever style you want for your graph um, you can evaluate a function very quickly if you've used function notation for instance I could do f of 2 I can literally type f of 2 it, it called it a just took the first available letter but f of 2 is equal to 3 um, you can do f prime of a number or a function. Let me first do f prime of 2. So f prime of 2 is 5. So the slope of the tangent line at 2 would be 5. If I do f prime of x, it'll actually give me the derivative and plot the derivative. Okay. Um, there's several ways to control a point on the graph. You could just put a point on the graph and then move it along the graph. I'm going to make a slider A and just let it run from negative 5 to 5. It changed the name of that value since it was called A. But now I have a slider A that I can change the value of. And then I can plot the point A comma F of A. And I can't see it right now because it's off the screen, but we can control that point with the slider. Um, I'm going to create a demonstration of what the derivative is conceptually by making secant lines. So I'm going to create another slider that I'm going to call h, <coughs> which is going to be the distance away from this point in the x direction. So I'm going to go from 0, actually we'll go from negative 1 to 1. And I want small increments, so I'm going to do 0 0.01 for the increments. And then I'm going to plot the point a plus h comma f of a plus h, which you will recognize as the other point in the difference quotient. I can then plot the line between those points, which we would call the secant line. And if I let h go toward 0, we approach the derivative. Now there's a built-in tangent line function under the, one of the tools here. It's under the special lines. <coughs> If you click the tangent tool, you can click on a point and the graph, and it'll create the actual tangent line. Okay, so I'm going to hide some of this stuff. Okay, so there's how you can plot a graph, some extra things you can do. Some other commands. You can do extremum, and you see on GeoGebra it starts popping up here. I can do extremum, and if it's a polynomial, I can just put the name of the polynomial in do the extremum of f and it'll find all local maxima and local mins. And so I have the coordinates over here rounded to two decimal places for the local local min. Um, if it's a function other than a polynomial you have to give it bounds where to look for those. Um, what else can we do? Roots. If you want the x-intercept the command is roots or root. I can do root of a polynomial and it'll find all the x-intercepts. Again, for a polynomial, you can simply give it the name. If you have a more complicated function, there's extra inputs to control where it looks. So that's a little bit of how we can graph functions and some of the nice, easy things we can do with GeoGebra.